Update on the homicide that occurred last night. Uh, last night, officers responded approximately 8 p.m. to Chatham City Apartments in Garden City. Uh, they discovered a Rasheen Jasper, 29 years old, out of the city of Savannah. Uh, he had been shot with a single gunshot wound to the chest. Uh, he was transported to Memorial Hospital, and, where he later succumbed to his wounds. Uh, the investigation is still very active. We, we are following up on some leads as we speak. Uh, it has been determined that uh, Mr. Jasper was shot once while traveling in a vehicle. The vehicle has been determined to have been stolen. However, at this time, the stolen vehicle is unrelated, we believe, to what ultimately caused his death. Uh, we do have some leads. Detectives have interviews and people of interest. However, at this time, we don't have any suspects to name, nor do we have any warrants for anyone's arrest. Uh, today, officers were responded uh, to a call approximately 1.30 this afternoon, a report of an unresponsive Hispanic male who was lying face down at the 1400 block of Dean Forest Road, or Old Dean Forest Road, excuse me. Uh, there, they discovered a Hispanic male, 41 years old. Uh, we're withholding his name until notification of next of kin. Uh, he was deceased on scene as a result of three gunshot wounds uh, all to the back. Uh, right now, that investigation is extremely uh, early on. We actually do have uh, some, some things of interest and some suspects that we are looking at right now. Our detectives are actively working that. Um, unfortunately, right now, we don't have much more information than that. However, we do request that anybody that has any information on either one of these uh, homicides, please come forward, uh, let us know. We still have not received any word about any video that someone may have re recorded in regards to the homicide that occurred last night with Mr. Jasper's death. Uh, we did receive information that somebody either recorded a video and possibly uploaded it uh, like a live stream to social media. Uh, we've since believed that that potentially did not occur because we have not heard from anyone. Typically, we would expect to hear someone by now that has saw the video. So if uh, someone who did record that, that shooting uh, we do request that you please come forward and, and let us know what you have, what kind of information uh, could assist us in helping you know, make sure that justice is served for a man who lost his life. Uh, the same goes in regards to the Hispanic male who was shot today. Uh, it occurred in an area that's very close to a trailer park, uh, heavily populated. So the potential that somebody saw something beforehand, and as soon as we can release the victim's name and photograph, we will, in case anyone saw it's a heavily walked area, if you saw him or you saw anything that looks out of place, we ask that you please come forward. Help us, uh, help us identify who possibly took a, you know, an innocent person's life. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions. How tough is it working two crimes and back to back days? Uh, it, it's extremely difficult. It's taxing. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is what we do, and we want to make sure that, um, you know, this is, these are the instances where when somebody loses their life, that's uh, there, there's no coming back. This is the most significant crime that we work. Therefore, uh, you know, our detectives are tired, they're uh, exhausted, but we put that to the side. We owe responsibility to the victims and their families. Uh, I want to make sure that I extend our sincere appreciation to Savannah Chatham Metro. Their violent crimes detectives uh, and their patrol have been extremely helpful in providing us with intelligence and information, especially in last night's homicide since the gentleman uh, was from Savannah, was from East Savannah, so they have been extremely helpful. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, agencies will come together and help each other out. But yeah, we're, we're working them. We're taxing. We're tired. But, you know, we eat on the fly. It's not something we didn't sign up for. And I understand instances like this aren't that common in Garden City, especially back to back. Yeah, it, 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 indeed, it has been a while since we, uh, it's probably been a, about a decade since we've had them this rapid succession. It's a throwback to the days when I started, when I was in, in detective. So fortunately, that's the good thing. We, we are a smaller agency, but that means that a lot of us, uh, in supervision or in patrol have worked investigations, certified crime scene techs, so we kind of fill a lot of roles. And that's, that's the nice thing is we can come together. The coroner responded that, I guess you said it's workplace related, right? Shooting? Mm -hmm. Can you speak on that? That I cannot, I don't know. I believe that the coroner was referencing a possible theory that was very early on in the scene in reference to the workplace related retaliation. Whether that is a rumor or substantiated yet, I don't, I can't tell you. Um, as soon as we have that information, uh, I will be, we will definitely, because that's, that's closely related to a potential suspect, and um, we want to try to make sure that we have the advantage there. But there's nothing that has been validated or substantiated that is definitely, uh, it is definitely, a, it's definitely a target event. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the nature of it, this is not a random crime. So, uh, but whether or not it's related to this gentleman and his employment, we don't know yet. Lieutenant, I just want to make sure I know Yesterday, it's Rashid R A S H E E D. 
E E N. I'm sorry, Rasheen. Yes, Rasheen Jasper. I apologize. And do we have an age and where he was from? Yes, 29 years old. Uh, he was from Savannah. And as far as today, we were able to speak with a couple family members, a sister uh, who were sitting there, and they said that most of his family lived in that mobile home community mm -hmm. right there. So what's being done right now? I know you're waiting to notify next of kin, but in that community, as far as have they reached out to you? Uh, we will, uh, our patrol side, that's the nice thing is that we, we do, uh, we will be going in there and, and making contact with the community. That particular uh, community is a very heavily, uh, very hi Hispanic uh, community. There's a lot of uh, unauthorized immigrants uh, community. We, we want to make sure that we're going in there. We've been doing that previously, that we let people know that we're the police. We're not here for immigration. We're here to help people, and we want to make sure that no one is afraid to report what they've seen or, or victimization of crime out of uh, immigration status. That is something that we have to deal with, unfortunately, that, that works against us. Uh, it's very difficult when people are afraid to talk to us. And we, you know, our primary goal is that no one's a victim of crime. We could care less where they were born and how they got here at this point. Uh, so we will be going in there for that very same fact. It is a very heavily Hispanic population. And based on the environment of the country right now, we have to be very proactive in going in and saying, hey, we're not here to hurt you. We're here to help everybody. And so we will be doing that. That will be going on very shortly after we get done here and um, trying to alleviate any concerns because when you have a tight-knit community like that, more often than not, they know a lot of information. So we want to make sure that we extend to everyone out there. We're here to help. You know, no, one, no one here is uh, checking immigration status. We're, we're trying to find out who killed a man. Yes, uh, we're still looking for the suspects uh, in reference to the shooting last night. It, it was uh, two black males. Uh, the shooter was a passenger in what is being described as a 2015 to 2017 newer model Chevy Impala or Chevy Malibu. So definitely a four-door, uh, dark in color, like a dark blue or black. Well, the most distinguishing feature is lots of chrome on the vehicle, on the, wind, on the wheel wells um, and the wheels. Um, it's a describes a fairly noticeable vehicle. So anybody that sees that vehicle, we have received word that, that vehicles of that nature that may be related to it uh, are from around the East Savannah area uh, and possibly South Side Savannah area. So individuals living there, if you know of, have seen that vehicle or see that vehicle now, please call 911. I wanted to mention as well because we find out that the deceased is from Savannah. This mm -hmm. is Uh, well, you know, obviously, we, we're always concerned about that. We, we, that's one of the things that we work very closely with the city of Savannah and Savannah Metro PD because uh, our criminal, you know, th there's no boundaries for what happens to these types of things. Unfortunately, we deal with a lot of uh, archaic tribalism mindsets and gang mindsets where you're not from this area. Uh, that is one of the, the things that's hindering us in this investigation is there's a lot of things that could have, you know, people think are important enough to take somebody's life, including just where they're from. <laughs> so as random as that could be, that's one of the things we're working on. Uh, we do work closely with, the, with Savannah with that. Um, I would say that there's no more concern uh, of any sort of violent crimes filling in from Savannah than there would be normally. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. But is it safe to say that as of right now, when you're looking at this investigation, you're looking into suspects and information that normally these people are from Savannah area? No, and, I, and actually, what the, the, some of the leads we're looking at, they are actually specific to Garden City. In fact, the location where he was shot and killed. There, there was a specific reason we believe that he was over there. Uh, it is Garden City related. And actually, um, I forgot to update earlier, it was determined that he, he actually is from City of Savannah, his family's from Savannah, but however, he was, had recently moved to Garden City. So no, there's no, no indication that anything's spilling over into us from Savannah. This is very, very unfortunately very typical. Good.